Mountain News this morning. Hundreds watched the much anticipated Kentucky Derby over the weekend. And a part of Eastern Kentucky hosted an annual fishing tournament. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News this morning. Good morning. I'm Madison Carmouche. We are on we are coming up on 5 a.m. this Monday morning. Let's check in with meteorologist Mace Michaels for a look at your forecast this morning. Good morning, Madison. We're looking at some cloudy conditions in the area today, and we're going to be talking about showers and thunderstorms as well. Kind of a wet week ahead for us. As you look out here over hazard, definitely cloudy, even a little foggy in some spots with some low clouds around. 61, our latest temperature here in Hazard. And you see the visibility is down in a couple of spots near zero in Logan and Pikeville. Well, I've seen the visibility here fluctuate from a mile and now it's up to five miles. So might run into some low pockets of visibility in spots as you're driving around this morning, but it's very isolated. Temps are warm though, upper 50s and low and even some mid 60s. Monticello in the upper 60s at 67. You see some showers and storms moving in as well from a quieter evening yesterday to now more active with a couple of showers there close to London, ready to move towards Lexington, and also a couple of showers near Monticello. Our forecast today, wet but warm. We'll uh, warm through the 60s on up into the 70s, a high somewhere in the mid and upper 70s today with those storms setting in. Full forecast, Madison. We'll talk about more rain throughout the week and maybe some strong storms. All right, Mace, thank you. Saturday's Kentucky Derby in Louisville was a dramatic and thrilling race. It was a photo finish as three horses crossed the finish line within a hair of each other. Mystic Dan edged out Sierra Leone and Forever Young. The race at Churchill Downs marked the 150th year for the running for the Roses. The favorite, Fierceness, finished 15th in the 20-horse field. The three-year-olds competed in what is the first leg of horse racing's Triple Crown race. Torpedo Anna is the official winner of the 2024 Kentucky Oaks now. And with a win under her belt, it's time for her to collect her flowers. The horses and jockeys are vying for the Garland of Lilies after the race. Florist at the Middletown Kroger completed the Garland Friday night. It is made out of stargazer lilies, but florists say there are some special features to celebrate the 150th year. So a little bit something different. We're going to use light gold ribbons. And then the underneath part is usually white on white, where we have the Oaks Crest, or the Oaks logo, and the Commonwealth Crest. And this year it's in full color and an all gold Commonwealth Crest, which is pretty exciting. The florist at Middletown Kroger also created the 40-pound garland for the run for the Roses 150th Derby on Saturday. Thousands across Kentucky came together to watch and celebrate the 150th Kentucky Derby and folks in Hazard were no different. Saturday, the art station hosted its fourth annual Kentucky Derby watch party. Members of the community were able to enjoy live music, food, drinks and had the chance to buy paintings from a live artist. And most importantly, people were able to come together and enjoy a Hazard tradition. It's great to be able to come out here and celebrate with friends, family, and community. I think community is a, cool, a huge part of joining together and celebrating an event like this that's so specific to Kentucky. We've got people from all different walks of life gathered here uh, today to enjoy this uh, time-honored tradition. The event was also a fundraiser for the art station to help support student artists in the community. While Saturday may have been the Kentucky Derby, another annual horse-related tradition was hosted Sunday in the Bluegrass. The 19th annual Old Friends Farm Homecoming, celebrating retired thoroughbreds living in the Bluegrass. People traveled from across the country to be a part of Derby festivities, like Joe and Susan, who are from New Jersey, but came to visit the oldest living winner, Silver Charm. I respect these horses, they're champions, they're athletes, and so it's good to see places like this preserving horses and saving the horses and open to the public so people could see them. The couple says their wedding anniversary is the same day Silver Charm won, won the 1997 Kentucky Derby. 
Saturday, hundreds of people made their way to Grove Marina for the second annual Logan Medlock Bass Fishing Tournament. Sergeant Medlock died in October 2022 in a crash involving a drunk driver. More than 100 boats hit the water, raising thousands of dollars. London Police Chief Chuck Johnson says they are thankful for all of the people that showed up to keep Medlock's memory alive and all that went into the tournament. So we wanted to come up with a way to memorialize him, to keep his memory alive. All of the, uh, all of the prizes, uh, including Big Fish and all of the pay places that, that were paid, were sponsored by local people, local businesses. Johnson says all of the proceeds are going to Medlock's family. The London Laurel County Farmers Market has returned for the warmer season. Between May and October, folks can get fresh produce and handmade items made by people in the community. Secretary and Treasurer Cassie King says they are working with the elderly women and children to help them gain access to fresh food. We're really excited to be back. It was a really long winter. Um, but this season is already exploding off with just the amount of response that we've gotten. All of our vendors are here. We have over 50 vendors signed up this season. We've been getting messages for about a month, like, when's the market open? When's the market open? Well, it's finally open. We've been here since 6.30 this morning, and it's been hopping the whole time. You can catch the farmer's market each Saturday starting at 7 a.m. until 1 p.m. Over the weekend, bad weather couldn't stop these cowboys and cowgirls from having their fun. Saturday was the final day of the Knott County Trail Ride event. The ride once only had a handful of participants, but now has outgrown the old site as hundreds of people travel from all over the country to take part in the event. Well, it, it started back in 2006, 2007. It was a little small event, a bunch of men got together and wanted to uh, just have a horse ride and they, they had like a camp and uh, it started out there around the ATV center and it, it got too big for that. So then they moved out here. Officials say people traveled from states as far as Idaho and Montana to be a part of this year's trail ride. Thanks for getting your day started with us here on Mountain News this morning. When we return, we'll take a look at the signs of skin cancer and melanoma as sunburns begin to rise. A wet week ahead, we'll be watching for a few showers and thunderstorms as well. A couple showing up on the radar along I-75 and west. More on the full forecast, the wet weather coming up.